This is the chicken enchilada burrito from Taco Bell. It costs a little less than $3 depending on where you live. That's how much it costs where I am. But it is the 10th item that I'm trying from the cravings value menu. And more importantly, maybe than the 10th, it's the final item that I'm trying from that menu. And maybe ever, because I set out a couple of weeks ago to try everything on there in a row and some things happened that I didn't expect. It changed the way that I'm thinking about things. I. Th I think I'm done. The drone shots and the shots of traffic or whatever might seem unnecessary for a video about a burrito, and they probably are. I could probably just do these talking straight to camera or just eat with with no camera like a normal person. But I do all of that to give you a sense of place, to let you know where I am and what there is to do and what there is to see. And some of you might look at this place and wonder why it is you would want to know more about it, and that's... Uh, that's that's fair. If you live here, you already know all of this, but if you don't, this place is almost unique in its normality. Everybody's familiar with suburbs, especially if you live in a larger city. The suburb is the place where you go to the Target or to the Costco and where the wait on a Wednesday at the Olive Garden is like 45 minutes for some reason. It's the place where the strangers talk to you for better or worse. Hot one today, huh? Yeah. And this place is all of that. It's just not attached to a larger city. It's like a big suburb of of absolutely nothing. But I do want you to know about it, and the way that I'm doing that is through the food. And in doing that, I found myself eating a lot of fast food, like a lot. You cow! You fat cow! And all of that led me to last week or a week and a half, I don't even remember, where I decided I was going to try the entire value craving, cravings value menu at Taco Bell. And one of the first things I tried was that stupid cheesy roll up thing. And when I posted that video, a guy named Flamoctopus. I love you guys. A guy named Flamoctopus said, the new nachos go hard too. Definitely don't skip them. And I told him I was going to do that next weekend, but uh, that I was most excited to try the enchilada burrito. And his response to me was, think it'll beat the 94 you gave it last time. And then he gave me a link to a video of me trying it like three months ago. Th three months ago, I had completely forgotten that I tried it at all. And that can only be a bad sign. It means that I'm either... Uh, slipping mentally or I'm just a little bit burned out or uh, possibly both. And while it's true that I did start making them to make myself laugh, the dark part is that that just stopped happening. There would be something that came out and I would be looking at it and trying to think about something that it was interesting or funny about it and I I just didn't I didn't care. I started to I started to force it. In fact, even the longer videos are supposed to make me laugh. I think it's hilarious to put a whole bunch of production value into a a new burger at Burger King or something like that and do all the drone shots and the the time lapses and everything just to talk about how a a burger annoyed me for whatever reason. But I don't want to do them anymore. If I don't care, I don't want to force it anymore. I only want to do them if it makes me feel something. That's the only way that I can make it worth my time and be respectful of your time. I don't want to force them because I think that you can tell. But I did say that I was going to finish this cravings value menu. So that's that's, that's what I'm going to do.
Everything has got chicken, rice, red sauce, cheese, and a reduced fat sour cream. I always love that they call it reduced fat sour cream. Like there are people out there that are deciding whether or not they're gonna go to Taco Bell based on how many calories are in the sour cream specifically. But I also noticed that it costs 30 cents more than it did when I tried it a couple of weeks ago. And people can discuss whether that's because of rising minimum wages or corporate greed or just general inflation. But no matter what number of those things you attribute the problem to, this is what is happening. And Taco Bell is by no means the only company where this is happening. Fast food in general is becoming a much bigger problem than it already was. The truth is that they're finding out just how far they can push you. What is the maximum amount of money that they can charge you before you just stop going entirely? Once they find that number, they'll pull it back just a little bit and then they've found their level. And that's exactly what this menu is. They call it a value menu, but they actually raise the prices. It's like my kids. They try to see how far they can push me as well. Like, for example, steal a cookie. It's not great. I don't love it, but I'm not going to fly off the handle. But once they get away with that, they just keep pushing until suddenly they're pooping on my toothbrush, for example. That's where Taco Bell is right now. They are, they're pooping on our toothbrushes. Ignore me. Yeah, she was wondering what you were doing. Just making a little movie. <laughs> movie? I can see why I forgot about this thing. It's good, but it also tastes like everything else they have. It's rare that Taco Bell puts out something remarkable, and this is very much uh, not remarkable. I gave it a 94 at $2.50. How many points is 30 cents worth? Like five? 89. But it's not just the fact that I don't care about these anymore. It's that Taco Bell doesn't need my help. They were around long before I was born and they will be around long after I'm dead. And in an area that is frankly overflowing with great Mexican food, I shouldn't be paying this much attention to Taco Bell. And the truth about this place is that it is a little bit boring, but I have a good feeling that wherever you are right now, you think it's a little bit boring too. My point with these videos was always to shine a light shine a light? Give a little bit of attention to places that may not be super exciting, but they do matter. And ultimately, if you do live here or live near here, I wanted to try to show you a little bit of a different perspective on this place. Some places that may not have been on your radar, because like anywhere else, it doesn't really matter where you are. It matters who you're there with. And sorry for that little bit of clickbait there. I'm not gonna stop doing shorts entirely. I'm still gonna do them if something seems interesting or funny or if, you know, or if nobody watches these because I do like Taco Bell, but the only thing that I like more than Taco Bell is attention. <laughs>